Evening Midlothian Camera Club members, Simon with another quick Photoshop tutorial. So I think in one of the last ones I done, Christina said she wanted to learn a bit about layers. So multitude of uses for layers, but I thought I'd start with quite a common use for me and that is getting rid of unwanted people. So I'm stood here on Talakar Beach in North Wales, beautiful um, late spring evening. And as it usually is in places like this, with a massive caravan site to the right hand side, you've got lots of other people enjoying the beach. Absolutely there, right, no problem at all. But I didn't want them in my photo. So what I did at the time was set my tripod up, got my composition, and I already knew what I was going to do is I was going to shoot photos. And every time the people moved, I would take another shot. And hopefully what I would get is a series of shots with the background um, clear on every single shot and then I could use layers um, to get rid of the people and I'll show you how to do that shortly. As it happens I only needed two shots so that makes this nice and easy for me. Um, I'll give you a wee story of this chap, if I do zoom in a little bit, this chap, um, this chap here I said to him I'd taken some photos closer in, there was nice reflections of him and uh, the woman and the kid playing and I said to him, I said, oh, I've got some nice photos of you, give me your email address and I'll fire them off to you. I always do that when people are in my photos. I'm thinking I'm being polite and he told me that you can't give the photos out to anyone. I'm having an affair, mate. So I don't know if it was his uh, liver puddly and scouse humour or he was uh, he was just uh, uh, actually having an affair. Either way, I, I, that was me. I shut right up because he looked like he was a bit annoyed. So anyway, we'll get back to the matter in hand. So I need both these images on top of each other. So as you can see, we've got three people here. they have got the same three people, but they're all in a different spot. So I'm going to control A to select the whole image. You get the marching amps around the whole image. Control C to copy. Move over to the other image and control V. So that says now put that first image onto this layer. If we click backwards and forwards you'll see that all the people move about slight movement in the clouds but I'm not going anywhere near there so that's absolutely fine. What I'm trying to do is on this top layer I'm trying to limit eliminate all these people in the nicest possible way and you do that using a mask. So this is your mask tool down here. Click this you'll get a mask up here it's pure white. If it's pure white that means everything on that top layer will be showing and nothing will be showing below. To make the layer below show you have to paint in some black. Now you can do that a number of ways using gradients or brushes but for this it's quite precise we are going to use a brush. So the brush tool is letter B. Hit B and it, there's your brush tool up there. We've got white there so we need to paint black on. So if you've got your white and black defaults up there if you just hit X that'll toggle between background and foreground. So wait until your black's in the foreground now we can paint in black. Another little top tip, if you happen to have another colour, so say you've got grey up there, and you've got grey and white, and you go, oh, I want black and white, then you can press D. That'll reset them to the defaults. X again to get our black on top, and we'll start painting in. So I've got a really small brush there, that's okay. I'm going to press the square, right hand square bracket, that'll increase the brush size. That should do. I'm going to zoom into 100% by going Control Alt 0. I'm going to move to the part of the image I want by holding down the um, space bar. That creates a hand tool and I can just move to where I want to be. So I've got the brush tool selected now. All you need to do, and this is almost like witchcraft, it's so easy, but you literally hold left click down and paint them out. And because we are now seeing the bottom layer without any humans taking a minute or so apart perhaps and the light's exactly the same, you literally cannot see any difference because they were not there in the second shot. This is a, an unusual one because we've actually got the reflections in the shot too, so it's quite a good example because easy enough to get rid of them here because it's flat water. But over here we've got some ripples, so we'd have to watch this because the ripples are unlikely to be exactly the same. So it's a bit of potluck. And you just have to try it and see, but actually I think we're getting away with that. I don't think anyone would know that at all. Check the rest of the image. So we've got a couple here. We've got this lady here. Bye bye, miss. And we've got one there. Bye bye. And then we've got something going on here. And because it's on the outline of the, the lighthouse is annoying me. So control plus key to zoom in even further. And I'm going to go right and I think it's a human, but I'm not sure. One way to tell would be if they've moved, so again I'm reducing the size of the 
brush there by clicking the left hand square bracket on my keyboard and I'm going to try and paint them out and they were a human because look they've now disappeared but in painting them out I've inadvertently brought someone in from that bottom layer well that's handy because now I can show you how the, the mask uh, function is really really uh, easy to use because if you do make a mistake like that all you have to do is swap your brush colours, uh, brush your paint colour back to white so if you don't want to remember the keyboard shortcut if you just hit this little double headed arrow we're back at white I'm going to make the brush smaller again by moving left hand uh, square bracket really small I'm just going to paint her with a white colour so what's that what that is doing is that's actually um, painting white back onto this mask and that means we can't see the bottom layer where she resides so I'm fairly happy with that I don't think I can see anyone else no that's okay so that's us finished so we've taken all those people out of that image you would never ever know it was ever they were ever there and as long as you take those two images and make sure you've got separation between the people and every part of the image is clean at some point with one of your images I've seen myself using four or five images in a stack to get a nice clean picture and then because there was always people but there was always enough space between them you could use that to create one good image so everyone's got their uh, their own views on whether editing is cheating or not but as far as I'm concerned I could have taken that shot, shot without those people so I think that's fair game to take them out um, I'll try and do another few on layers because layers are so useful and a lot of the techniques are incredibly simple and easy to learn so that's the first one getting rid of unwanted humans.